Hey guys, what's up? Oh yeah, if you're wondering the backgrounds of the last few weeks, yeah, my mom has been wanting to get some new cupboards and every and lots of stuff on it, but <clears throat> me. Today I want to review something a little different for the channel. Yeah, why not review something a little Scooby Doo related? And that will Oh yeah, right, I already did Scoobs before, but <clears throat> Of you've read the tower. I'm reviewing the first two episodes of Thelma, and give you my personal opinions on it. It's more of the origin story. Uh, the, the second, third, fourth, fourth time we have an origin story for the Scooby Doo game, but this time a more adult related one and brain swap one. But let's explain my thoughts on it. <clears throat> so. You know, I'm. <clears throat> so, yeah. When I first heard about the show, I was kind of. Eh, why not? I'll check it out. And yeah, I did remember people were a bit flocking in the show, but. You know what? I'll give it a try since, you know, at this point, I feel like Scooby Doo is pretty much almost every public domain character in existence. Marvel and DC, in a nutshell, being. Well, here's a different interpretation of the same person. Nothing really too special. What else is beeping new? We are living in this. Really new these days. And honestly, I think it's kind of been ex. And while Scooby Doo has the main franchise, mostly straight to DVD movies, still ongoing these days, but always I feel like they kind of. Oh, sorry, I'm just playing with you in the background. I'm it just feels like these days we just live in a world where kind of yeah and even copper domain characters primarily disney no it's a disney but you, you can get the point of what i want to say feel like we always just make based up we're not out of originality these days aside from no better bring those stuff it feels like we're kind of a, eh, I don't know, these days I just feel like, Sco like I said, Scooby-Doo is kind of like public domain, Marvel, and DC characters usually. We have different iterations of the same person. And what else is new sometimes, am I right? But yeah, in all seriousness, my personal thoughts of this new iteration of the characters are alright, but... But honestly, <clears throat> so yes. So I want to talk about the first two episodes of the show, and yeah, why not talk about these two first two episodes of the show? Oh, and yeah, I'll be covering two by two a per video, and mainly because hey, why not give my personal thoughts? So, yeah. 
Although, firstly, we get to Velma, and yeah, I better go mention. So, yeah, start off with a weird murder case scene, a bit of a swap and bait a bit among the characters. And we see is basically Velma in this universe. Velma is Indian. Due to her father in this universe be being an Indian American. Then we also reintroduce a Daphne in this universe who is Asian. She in American for some reason. And then after we get to a couple. And while I admit, pretty much, yeah. Also, Velma in the road, at least for this entire series, is basically, guy god, I'm having PTSD slash hallucinations type person, and yeah, if you have played like, maybe I'm just gonna bring up examples, like, <clears throat> no, I don't do horror, but <clears throat> Little Hope, the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope, you probably, I know this is kind of a spoiler, but considering the Little Hope themes around basically coping with death, sort of the theme around coping death, Velma's mom is currently either killed or, or went disappear, either killed, and tried to... <gasps> Get over that grief. And yeah, I always imagine Little Hope is a sim, a feeling of someone dealing with mystery solving and. Probably dealing with coping with illusions. Although I think that, yeah, not fair comparison, but I think it's barely handled here than. But then again, this is just me. Then again, that was more of the witch trial rather than solving a mystery. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, right. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of running theme, which I think this is gonna be where, yeah, I mean the humor and pretty much lesbian jokes. Like, <clears throat> sorry, humor. It's kind of something to calm her down. And after getting, fine. Oh yeah, right. I forgot to mention something. <clears throat> We're introduced to another character. We're introduced to Fred, who surprisingly stayed the same. Yeah, despite the artwork from the promo teasers, yeah, I think they probably overly glowed him a bit. He has basically stayed the beeping same. And then we get to Norville oh, oh Rogers, or I'm just gonna say by what everyone's gonna call him, it's Shaggy. I know Norville is his original name, and while I am, it's kind of surprising how we're just gonna call Shaggy Norville. Yeah, I, I mean, that's originally Shaggy's original name, Norville. And weirdly enough, he goes, although I I know Shaggy, but yeah, I think it's kind of feel weird they don't want to go by Shaggy's original name, and I, though they did state somewhere in the interview. Those who are currently in Shaggy is more of his middle slash nickname, but I think everyone's just gonna call. Yeah, I do feel like everyone's just called Shaggy nowadays and never Norville. 
And also, he's kind of a brave, so she's kind of the bro type character and the guy who hates drugs. You know, kind of ironic considering that there are also multiple claims of Shaggy smoking marijuana, but I think those are probably just to make a well, joke of take that moment. It does feel like a general take that moment. And, you know, despite this being a Scooby-Doo show, they didn't really include Scooby because they don't think Talking Dogs work in an adult animated series. Have you not seen fucking Brian from The Family Guy? <laughs> my, my language. <coughs> Brian is like an example of you can actually make a an animal character serious. Sure, Family Guy isn't the greatest in recent years, but... At least you can actually make a dog actually take and see more of an adult take. Maybe you don't, I don't, or I know I'm going to take this as an, I know this is more of an adult. I know this is an anime, but look at Iggy. You can take, at least they try to make Iggy serious and whatnot. Yeah, I know it's unfair comparison to use Iggy from, use anime, but I'm trying to put my point here. And while I admit it, I kind of wish they'd stayed more without needing to do the race change, but then again, I know, like I said, it, Marvel, DC, and cover the main characters are basically just do what it are nowadays, just do a different version of this exact same person, just with a, with a change of like, big or major or kind of minor these days when you have a whole new character that's how I all see it to be honest these days but that's just my opinions and no I'm not being racist this is just kind of my opinions to be honest Anyways, back to my opinions. It's on the review. Um, <clears throat> so, I admit... The first episode was sort of a... Kinda trying to find a real murderer. The second episode was kind of just eh, America agree. Uh, basically, Velma's father agreeing to defend the case, and interestingly enough, Velma's father, sorry, Fred's father, his voice actor is Frank Walker. Yeah, Fred's original voice actor, and yeah, I know this is a new, and you know, this thing quite surprised he's just kind of eh, a new cool paycheck. I mean, it's like one of the most pro. And again, he is pretty much one, considering his voice actor is one of the more profitable, highest grossing act, voice actors of all time. He's the third most highest paid voice actor of all time and the more profitable profit voice actor of all time. So, yeah. I'm not going to question it. Right below Stan Lee and and Samuel Jackson. I'm realize seeing I'm surprised to know Stan Lee gets despite being more of a comic book writer, gets paid way more than 
and Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I respect the man. Anyways, yeah, it was defending the court case. It was more to go with the aftermath of the first episode, but at the same time, trying them to find new clues to kind of find... And to go for the Sunny Sword thing, and why... Did she kind of not? Why did Nora didn't just accept the money and go, Hey Velma, here's the money. Thank you. And then you just kind of find the cases and everything and we can move on with kind of the story. And maybe kind of a few episodes, but then again, I think we need to have some. A little bit of stupidity coming to these people. But that's just me and overall my thoughts on and yeah, also there's an Asian, and also ending with Velma kissing Daphne. I'm sorry, Daphne kissing Velma. <laughs> Overall, I think the first two episodes are alright, but eh, it just feels that it also feels like they need to drown in a bit more of modern pop culture humor. And uh, while I don't feel like it has anything woke, to be honest. But yeah, it just feels like I look at these guys and go, wow, these guys are kind of if the... The Scooby-Doo was made today, to be honest. In a horrible way. Not in the good way, but in a horrible way. And while I don't hate anyone in the crew, I think, honestly, she's fine. I thought it's fine so far. Although, kind of, although, yes, like I said, I'm fine with it. It's just kind of nowadays we live in a world that... Whenever, you, if you're a Marvel, DC, or any public domain character, you're going to get, whoop, time to reinvent you and make you someone else. Make you a completely different, yet same person we need to make. It's kind of my opinions. But I think we'll talk more about the show in the future episodes or two, and I will talk about... Talk about more of the show as the show gets released by two episodes per week. Two episodes get released per week because hey, I think they want to go finish this up. The show these days. And I'll give you my full edge opinion and I will cover more of it when we get to it and also my opinions may change. Change and honestly my opinions may change about the show over time and I will talk about it and yeah this is going to be a long at least until uh, February 9th so please know that I'll be reviewing a lot of the sh and yeah, I will still watch it and give personal opinions, and I still think the show's alright so far, but I will talk more about it in the near future, as well as talk about anything I did like or dislike the whole series. Please note this is going to be more of keep my opinions, and less on whoever is currently working the shows. And, like I said, well, I get, I'll be seeing you guys next time, and... And goodbye, and oh yeah, right, um, one more thing before we go, I would like to talk about something a little bit real quick about my, about the next death battle that has been announced recently. Yeah, a new death battle has been announced recently, which I'm not gonna make predictions now, but I wanna make it more, at least when they get ready. But yeah, it's recently announced at MAGFest, which unfortunately I don't have a clip for, they confirmed this, but... I was just checking something real quick. <clears throat> and that will be Chosen Undead versus Dragonborn. 
And yeah, this was a confirmed battle, which I was kind of skeptical and a little concerned on how they're going to handle a battle that's basically two different people. That's basically the same person fighting each other. Uh, basically customizable base characters. Which I don't know how they're going to handle these characters as A, they're basically people that require... You're that you, and yes, you. Counting for items, lore, cannon feats, and everything else. But that's just me. And while I would say my prediction is it's Dragonborn, probably, but I'll make a full prediction on it when the time comes, as well as pretty much anything else that I would say. <clears throat> Had happened, excuse me. I don't know how they're gonna handle a suit. Handle pretty much these characters, considering I just feel like customizable based characters feels like something I don't know how they're going to actually handle. At least to me, of course. I did feel like, like, <clears throat> when it comes to, but hey, I'm just gonna think they're just gonna throw all the feeds, cannons, and a lot of timelines thing, but we will wait and see how that plays out before. Or we were going to say it but yeah leaning I will do future I'm not gonna do prediction full predictions yet <coughs> so yeah I might give my personal opinions on these up So, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I can't wait for season 10 to come. No, probably somewhere around, usually nowadays, Death Valley episode, Death Valley season starting in March. I'm gonna say around March of next year, considering the last two seasons have been releasing. Considering the last two seasons have been releasing in March in more recent years, where they decided to take a nice. say we're gonna have at least one character in the so yeah March is something I would like to say we all know March is going to be probably So, yeah, I did feel like we're all going to get at least one. So, yeah, my prediction. So, yeah, personally so far, uh, I think while I admit this is going to be a bit of an interesting season, to be honest, and we are getting at least one, two, three, four, five new reps this season, and I would like to see more, but more next season. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to break, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. So, yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, and also I would like to say, yeah, I will do a future prediction. Yeah, future predictions are going to reopen up once I would feel that Battle Season 10 will be coming out, and I'll still do predictions on certain battles. Please note that if there's no predictions of battles, probably because I don't know who's going to win, or I don't know much of these characters say, I know who will win this battle, to me. So yeah, bye!